guys and welcome to today's video which is a feeding video but with a twist. Now recently I've been trying out various different diets. We had canned food. Oh my god I thought that one was just moving. We had centipedes and in that video I did mention that I do have a few other things to feed the gecko. So I have silkworm pupae, rice worms and dubia roaches. So today I thought we'd try them out. So first let's open the rice worms, you get 15 grams of these. So personally I've never heard of rice worms, let alone feed them to my geckos, but apparently reptiles, small animals, birds, turtles and fish can have these because turtles aren't reptiles. Anyway I thought I'd empty these onto here so we can have a look. Like most of these kinds of foods they're always very moist, um, don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Right now I can't, oh my god they're disgusting, <laughs> oh, oh no, <laughs> oh my god they're just clumps of them. Right now I can't smell anything, they're just very soggy and just plopping everywhere. So it's fair to say you get quite a few of these. What I was planning on doing is putting a few in a bowl, they feel really weird, they're very like sticky. But basically I was going to put some in a bowl and then put a bit of Pangea in it. Now of course you can buy diets for your Crested Gecko that contain insects anyway. Uh, but if they don't like them and they don't like live feed insects then maybe this will be a way of getting them some extra protein. First so I'm going to offer these to Lyra and Drogo as they are and then I will offer them the Pangea mix. Oh. Oh. Hello, I'm dropping them everywhere. Oh, I've dropped so many. She seems inter- oh no. She kind of seemed- she kind of seemed interested. I have just dropped them everywhere. Hmm. Okay, shameless plug, but I do have my own crusted gecko dishes that we sell on our little Etsy store, the bearded shrimp. And these will actually hold Lyra's weight. Um, so I'm going to put some worms in this and leave it overnight and see if she actually eats them. So now we're going to see if she will take the worm mix of Pangea. There is a worm in this clump. I think she will because she'll smell pan Yeah. <laughs> she'll smell Pangea and she'll go for it. I think there's a worm hanging out of her mouth. So will she eat it or spit it out? Oh, I think it's, go it's going. Okay, so this has worked. I think the worms are sort of small enough and kind of slimy and moist enough to just mix in with the Pangea. So maybe if you are concerned that your crested gecko isn't getting enough protein, particularly baby growing crested geckos, this could be an option. I think the rice worm one was actually quite cheap. You do get quite a few rice worms with it. I'm not sure how long you can keep it open. Usually these things have might be a few days or a week before you have to throw it all out. But there you go, she's getting some extra protein. Next we have Drogo My Chihua. So let's just see what he thinks of the worms. He can be a little shy. He can sometimes like smell and then walk backwards and just run off. But he seems interested. He's flicking his tongue. Here we go, are you gonna go for it? The problem with geckos like this, like the New Caledonian ones, I don't know if lychees or gargoyles are different, but crested geckos and chihuahuas will take their sweet time with food. It's amazing they actually catch anything in the wild. But he seems very interested. Oh, you've got one. Oh, okay, okay, well you're lapping it up. He's Weirdly, he's kind of treating it like Pangea. So let me just move it a little bit closer to him. <laughs> oh, they're on the floor. So if you're like me and you've been quite unsuccessful at breeding dubia roaches then this might be worth a shot. However I will say they work out super expensive considering you only get five sort of adult dubias um, for your money, that isn't a lot at all. However, we're going to see what Maui thinks of it because he keeps... Can you smell that? How does that smell? Oh, okay. So, I mean they look like 
<laughs> they just look like squished dubia roaches, very wet. Maui is, oh, oh, are you interested? Mm. I think my shaky hand helps move it. <laughs> I have such shaky hands sometimes. Okay, what do you think of this? I mean, it's quite big, it's the size of his head. But he seems intrigued. One thing I've noticed with all of these foods, including the ca oh, oh, okay, including the canned food, is they're very moist, and whatever is on the um, insect, the geckos tend to lick their, I'd say lips, they don't have them, but lips a lot. That was a hit, okay. <laughs> so since I only have five of these, I'll give two to Maui, and then we'll split the rest out evenly with everyone else. Next up we have mini. I will say with these there is a smell starting to uh, happen. Uh, my hands smell quite bad. I don't know if you guys have ever done that. I used to have to do it all the time with Minnie because she licks her eye but I can just put a bit of food in and if she doesn't want it she will spit it out but if she wants it like now she will hold on. Have you got a gecko that's not eating? Obviously I don't encourage force feeding in any way but if they have to lick their eye like Minnie has you can slip a bit of food in and they will take it if they wish but also allow them to spit it out if they don't want it might be able to tell she's about to shed that's a big doobie isn't it got a good crunch to it though um I mean I'd say like in all of these videos you can't beat the real thing but you know, if you can just have these stored, so for whatever reason you can't get any food, then it is a handy backup. She looks very weird at this angle because of how white she is, apart from her nose. I'm also going to try silkworm pupae with her. She has never had them in her life. Um, silkworms are kind of hard to come by, and when you do find them, they're quite expensive. So we shall see what she thinks of these, because these are actually a good, cheap alternative. Oh, these smell bad. These smell really bad. Right, because she wants to open her eye, I'm not going to try to get her to eat another one. I think she's kind of curious by the smell. Okay, that wasn't successful with Minnie. I think she was getting irritated with her eye because she's about to shed. And also, these smell really bad. Diego, come back. Diego. I feel like Maui is in this like teenage stage of eating everything. Whereas Diego, you know, he's 10 now. He is more sophisticated. He wants a decent meal. He does not want this. It is quite surprising actually though, because you know, Diego being the biggest, you would think, oh, he eats loads. I mean, he is usually enthusiastic about food, I'm not gonna lie. But these canned food, these like already dead foods that I've been trying lately have not gone down well with Diego really. He's not that enthusiastic. So let's try the silkworm pupae. Do you know they kind of smell like nuts? Is that weird? Oh my god he is rejecting them. I mean I, I get it because they do smell bad but Diego come on. Oh What are you doing? You don't want it? No. Wow. Let's try Gizmo. Now she surprised me recently because in that centipede one, she went for the centipede. I did not expect that. But will she go for the roach? Look at the little hand. Okay, let's try a silkworm pupae. Oh, I've lost that. It's gone somewhere down there. So Gizmo is just there. But she's not interested. Oh, also, my, um, the succulents, they, they are ex-succulents. They are no more. Oh my 
my god, Drogo. <laughs> He's loving the uh, Dubia Roach. I thought I'd just try it out with him. But in true Chihua style, He's going to walk backwards with it hanging from his mouth. Okay, so that was a bit of a shocker. The rice worms were the favourite and even then you kind of had to mix it in with the food. But as I said, if you have a gecko that you're trying to get to have more protein, then maybe that's something you can do. The Dubias worked with Maui and Mini. Gizmo and Diego were not interested. So I think really the Dubias aren't too bad. I think it's like... They're handy to have around in case you have a serious food shortage, you can just whip them out. But price-wise, they do not work out right, like you just as well breed your own if you can. Um, the silkworm pupae, they were a disaster. Literally, they smell weird and none of my geckos are interested. So, I hope this video has been interesting. I've been trying to... Um, try a few new things with my geckos, try things out in case you're curious how your geckos would react. But I'd love to know, if you've tried these with your geckos, have you had the same kind of results? Have you had the silkworms and do they usually smell nutty? Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you haven't already, please subscribe. But thank you for watching and goodbye.